Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. <coughs> it's been a while since I did some painting and had things going on at the house and hadn't been able to come to the studio and just all kinds of things. Busy, busy, busy. But I am ready to paint. But today I wanted to play with some tiles. I don't typically paint on tile, but I have been given a box of four inch tiles and they are actually, there's no sheen on them, they're unglazed on the top. So they're straight down to the, the ceramic. There's no glaze, no shine, no sealed in thing. But I wanted to do some smashes and see how they turned out. We'll see how that goes. And I also wanted to try one out in the bottom of a salad spinner. And then you put the top on and you spin the thing like a piece of spin art, basically. So that's what my plan is, is to do on this tile in here. But before we start, I wanted to show you, I'm using Deco Art paints and I've got all the colors mixed up. There's cadmium yellow, true ochre, orange flame, which is there. This is the primary red, deep burgundy, true blue, Prussian blue, dioxazine purple. This one is Irish moss. I usually use sour apple, but I've had some Irish moss, so that's that. And this dark green is Halzer Dark Green, H-A-U-S-E-R. Everything is mixed one to one with Oetrol Easy Flow. So I'm going to pour in roughly the same amount of Oetrol as I do the paint. Oetrol is a European company. They have their product is only available in Miami from OetrolUSA.com or on Amazon. This is for people outside of the United States who can't get Floetrol. This is a great replacement. I actually prefer it over Floetrol, but it's harder to come by in the U.S. And I'm going to stir up my paint into the Oetrol Easy Flow. Or if you're using Floetrol, same difference, one to one ratio. And because the Oetrol is a little bit thicker and richer, I do need to add some water. Typically I don't add water to Deco Art and Floetrol, but the Oetrol is thicker. At least this time around it is. Okay. I'm going to leave it just a little bit on the thicker side. So what I'm planning on doing is dipping some colors onto one tile and then smashing another tile on top of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up four little cups to just put my tiles on when I'm finished dipping them. I'm going to zoom in just slightly. I am going to put a white base coat down on the tile that I'm going to be dipping onto. So this white is going to go down here on this end. This is not a bright white, this is like a bisque color. So it's kind of a tan color. So maybe I'll put just a little bit more since it is a little bit on the see-through side because the tile is a tannish color. And I'm just going to kind of drizzle a little bit of purple and maybe a 
a little bit of the Prussian blue. A little bit of the lighter blue and clean my stick off so I don't get the color into my other colors. Let me get this opened up. I'm put a little deep the ochre color and maybe a little bit of the bright yellow. Now, I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of the deep green. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this Irish moss. It feels a little thick. And I do not have silicone in these, at least not that I know of. I had them mixed from the other day. So, I don't think... So I'm pushing down on one tile against the other. And you don't have to worry about like a canvas where you have to push in different areas because a tile is so flat it kind of moves around. So that totally did not work the way I planned. We're going to put those aside because I'll probably do something over the top of them again. So I'm going to go back to the white. This one I'm going to use red. Okay, we're going to try this again. Press down. Okay, I'm going to try to lift straight up instead of moving it to one side or the other. There's that suction that builds up, so it's kind of hard to separate them. <laughs> So that did not turn out like I planned either. That's interesting though, it looks like an abstract. Okay, so I'm going to leave this for a minute and I'm going to switch over to here. And because this didn't work the way I planned, what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a tiny So I put a little drop in each container and I'm just going to swish it a few times. That was the OGX. Purple. Got to the blue.
and the green. Alright, so now that I did that, I'm going to do a dirty pour. So I'll start with a little bit of white. Purple. I'm going to switch off and do like contrasting colors. They're a little bit thicker, so they're kind of dropping in in separate spots, and that's okay. I'm going to get my white, shoot down a little bit of white in there, and I've got a palette knife here. I'll switch a, swish a couple of times. I can't remember if I added yellow. I'm going to put a little yellow. Just do a dirty pour here on the tile. That green definitely took over. You have to remember when you're doing your colors, greens, oranges are very strong. So this tile is very porous. So the paint is moving very slowly on it. And I am going to Tap the edges and make sure the paint is covering the sides. I'm not crazy about the colors there. pouring on the corners just to add some personality because I didn't like those corners so this time again I'm going to start with white this time and I'm going to use these color tones here but I'm going to put a little purple Red, blue, a little bit blue. And do the orange next. Do the deep red. These cups are a little bit flimsy because they've been sitting. Yellow. Shot of white. Maybe a little hint of lime. Wish through. So this is like way too much paint. I can go ahead and heat it because I see bubbles. I can even see even right here the paint is already drying on these tiles because they are so porous this one the lime 
took over. Very interesting. Had all those other colors and the lime decided to show its face. All right. It does smell good, though. I'll tell you, that coconut milk. I'm not a coconut fan, but the coconut milk just smells good enough to eat. I'm going to turn the cup this way. Put the wider part at the top. So I've got some extra paint here. What I'm going to do is put some blue, Prussian blue, white, a little bit of purple, white, some blue, green, and a pinch of deep green, swish, I'll do that one over here. I'm going to leave this one for a minute. I do like blues and greens together for sure. That's pretty cool. that one there. I'm going to see what comes of these leftover paints, but I may go over them if I don't care for them. Maybe I'll drizzle a little of this bright blue here and there. drip of white. So this is mostly blue and greens, but there's a hint of the red from the drips from the original one. So this one has some interesting cell action going on. Cup out for this one. Put it there. Oops. Put it there. I'm just going to kind of rub this paint into the thing. I'm going to put down a 
it's a dry paper towel. It has some paint drips, but it's dry. Put my salad spinner on the top of it. Now, now this is going to be a test run because I may use this at a festival for children. And I want to see how this will work. Somebody else in one of my pouring groups uses it, Casey Corbin. And I wanted to see how well it worked. So my question is, if I just put paint down in the middle, I'm going to try, I guess, I'll put this cup down first. Let it pour out some of that paint. I'll do a little bit of white. I'll drizzle some blue in it. And a hint of purple. This will be more than enough paint. If it spins, it'll be more than enough. A little bit of that Prussian blue. And another little squirt of white. So I kind of want to make sure my hands are clean. I'm going to make sure I wipe my dirty fingers off. Put this top on. Okay, I'm going to keep spinning. Take the lid off. And that is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I like that. There's no paint on the sides, believe it or not. So I'm going to lay that right down on the table. I have got to do some more of those. That is cool. Stick me another one down there. It's just nice and centered. And this just sits on the bottom of the plastic bowl. So it rocks a little bit. You know, it's not like even or anything. So I'll put this cup, which has some red. But I'm going to do some red. A little, I'm going to add a little accent of purple. Maybe some orange, which that might be scary with it. It might go brown, I'm not sure. Squiggle of white. Maybe some yellow just because those are typically my happy colors. Are you ready? This is exciting. Woo. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Get a little purple, put it on that corner where I stuck my finger in it. And it's already starting to dry. That's the cool part about it. So let's do 
the next one. I'm going to do the, the deep Prussian blue. The deep green. Squirt of white. The lime green. Some bright blue. Touch of yellow. white. All right. That's so interesting how it it spins off on one side and you have this negative space that's left which is funky modern looking it's super cool all right one more let's see Orange, bright red, or white, some blue, deeper blue, purple. Feel like a kid. I'll wipe off the edge because the other edges aren't painted. I got my fingerprint on it. I guess you could always just take the color and just bring it down with your finger. So it really kind of makes the paint really thin on the surface of the tile, which allows it to dry quicker. Because you really don't have that much paint. It's getting spun off, I guess. The excess is getting spun off. Look, I'm going to take a, this. So there's that one, kind of different. So I have a little residue of paint in here and I'll just rinse out my basket and the, the bottom of the bowl. But that wraps up my tile video. This was just a fun time to play. I got some dirty pours and then I got some spin art. So these will dry pretty quickly which will be the really awesome part about it. Got, I've dripped a little bit of color on there. I don't know. That didn't help. That did not help. 
So what I'm going to have to do is stick a little white on here. And because I added white, I'm going to put it back in the spinner so it evens out and it doesn't look funny. I don't want to mess up the look of the tile. It will not spin unless you have it on. That got the edges to go back over the white, but I've still got some areas I need to add the white to. So there's that one. So this one and this one with the blue on it they're almost dry. So this would be great for a festival because they would dry almost immediately outdoors with wind and stuff like that. So that's pretty good to know. I was curious if they would dry quick enough if you did this style. So. That was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did and it, maybe it's going to inspire you to get a salad spinner and spin your tiles on it. Again, these are not glazed. They are unglazed tiles so they're very porous and they soak that paint in pretty quickly. So just keep that in mind. So if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below the video and find me on Instagram, Facebook. I'm on PayPal and Patreon. There's an Amazon link with all the recommendations and check out that and keep following my journey. I appreciate you watching me and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.